Hey everybody, welcome to our video on splitting access databases. Recently I made a video in which I described in detail what is a split database, why might we do it, and how do some of those deployments look. And if you want more information about that, I'll have a link to that video in the description below this video. However, in brief, what we mean when we talk about a split database is an arrangement where you have two databases involved. You have one database which we call the front end and that holds your user interface elements, your forms, your queries, your reports, your VBA code and your macros. And the second database which we call the back end database holds your actual data tables, any of the data that you think might change frequently. And what you're allowed, what you're able to do with this is create or mimic a client server arrangement where you put these front end databases on each of your piece, each of your clients PCs you put the back end database in some central location like a file server and all of your multiple users front ends link to that single back end so you have a single copy of your data and then what that allows you to have is of course all of your users are able to see everybody else's updates in real time but in this video what I'd like to do is create a split database using two methods. First, I'd like to take an existing database that has forms and tables combined into one database and use the Microsoft provided split database wizard to create a split database for us. And then secondly, I'd like to create a split database from scratch. So I'll create a back end, put some tables in it, and then create a front end, and then manually link that front end to the back end. Okay, so let's start off with taking the existing database and splitting it. So here is my explorer window. Here's a database I'm going to use as a starting point. So let's open that guy. As you can see here, we have three tables, two queries, and a form. It's very easy to split a database using the wizard. We'll go over here to the Database Tools tab. And then on the right side here, we have the Move Data Group. And this middle button here, Access Database. And we hover over it. Well, there we go. Split a database into two files, one containing the tables and one containing the queries and forms. Click on that, and we just click the split database button. It's going to ask us where we want to save the new database it's going to create. It's going to, it's going to create a new database to hold the tables. So it's going to create for us the back end. And you can tell down here, or of course you can tell by the title up here, it says create back end database. And then down here in the name, what it's done is added an underscore BE to the name. We get to tell it where to put that, of course, and I want to put it in the same folder as the current front end to make it easier for me to find and easier for us to look at. I'm going to leave this default name and in fact I've been using this naming convention for any of the split databases that I create even from scratch underscore BE. And we just click on the split button. You can see down here we have a progress bar it's doing some stuff. There we go database successfully split. Let's take a look in our explorer window and what happened here, so we have split existing, which is the database we began with. You can tell it's still open because we have a locking file there for it. And we have a new file here, split existing underscore BE. That's our back end. Now, if we open that guy, not really even open it. Let's slide it over a little bit so we can compare the two. What we have here now is our three tables that it moved to this database. You can see the ordinary table icon here. Over here on the left, our front end, you can see that the icons for these three tables have changed. Now there's a table icon with an arrow next to it. This denotes that this is a linked table. So what we have then is linked table entries here pointing to actual tables over here. Let me slide this out of the way. Let's click on this guy. If we hover over a table, what we can see pop up there is a the, the path to the back end database that holds that table. And each of these will be the same because they're all in the same table. But you can see it has a full path to, to that database name and it ends there with split existing underscore BE, uh, ACCDB. Let's get this back end database out of the way. One more thing to look at very quickly. Here is our explore window again. If I click on one of these tables and open it, you'll notice that we also get a locking file for the back end at that point because right at this moment we have that back end file open for access here, open for read write. And just to be crystal clear that we do indeed have links to that particular table, that particular database, I'm going to make a change here to this record. And let's say this record as well. Okay, we close this. 
open our back end. Was that the vendors table we did? Yeah, you see there's there are the changes I made to the data right there. Close that table, close that database, and they were changed it back again. Let's take a look at one more thing you might need to use with a split database, and that would be the linked table manager. That is on the external data tab on the left side under import and link. Second button here called linked table manager. Click on that. This is going to list for you in this front end. This only works for you on the front end or in a table where you, uh, a database where you have linked tables. It's going to list for you each of the tables that are linked to another database. And you have a checkbox next to each one. And what you can do here is if you if your database loses a linkage to one of these tables, it can't find one of your tables or it can't find your back end, you can come to the link table manager and refresh that location. Now, if you just click on one of these and then click OK, it'll just link, it'll just use the existing file name it has already in the connection string and just reestablish the link. However, if if you've lost the back end entirely, or let's say let's say you have moved your database. Okay, if you use Windows Explorer, let's close this, use Windows Explorer, and you physically move this database and this database to a different folder, remember this connection string is still going to be pointing to the original folder. It does not get updated automatically. You would need to come here to the Link Table Manager, click on these tables, click Always Prompt for New Location, and then it will pop up a File Browse dialog where you can then browse to the file and choose the file that holds your tables. You click open and then it'll relink for you. You point to that new file. So let's close this. So that's it for splitting the existing database. Very, very simple to do. Uh, however, rarely do I do this. I think maybe the first database I split, I did it this way. And then from then on, whenever I made databases that I knew I wanted to end up being split, I would just start off with a split database. So let's take a look at that. So let's create a new access database from scratch here. Let's click on new access database. What name do we want to give it? I'm going to make this the back end. Let's do the back end first. Split BE. Let's open it. Enable content. As you can see there is nothing in here at all. No tables or anything. I don't want to make you sit here and watch me make some new tables from scratch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, data, to, 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 to uh, external data. I'm going to click on access. And I'm going to import some tables from my other databases. I'm going to use the top radio right button for import tables. It means I'm going to copy tables from one database into this one. And we're making a back end database right now, which means we're going to make actual tables, pull actual tables into this database. I'm going to browse to the folder that we are currently in. There we go. I have a hard time finding that folder. And I'm going to take a look at the tables I actually have in my other back end and pull those in to this one. Click OK at the bottom. On the Tables tab, that's all I want is tables. So I'm going to select all three of these tables. Let's just select two of them. Parts and quarterly sales. Two tables, click OK. I uh, don't want to save the steps. And here are our tables. These are copies of the tables. You can tell by the, the icon we have over here on the left. There's no arrow next to it. These are actual tables. I'm going to close this back end now. So we've created our back end. Let's create a front end from scratch. New database called split FE in capital letters, just to make sure they look different. Open this guy. Again, it is completely empty. As you can see over here, there's nothing over here. Again, I don't want to make time take time to, to build forms for you. Let's just copy some forms and queries in from another database. Import again up here, radio button. Browse again to the same folder we were just in. There we go. And let's pull in from this guy. Again, we're still on import. Click OK. OK, we're going to ignore tables this time. I'm going to pull in the two queries. We'll go to the forms page, pull in that form. Without any reports. Let's leave it there. Click OK. Don't save the steps. So now we have two queries have a form. But notice we have no tables. 
now we need to make our links from this database to our backend database. We, don't want, to, we want to create those link, link tables over here, those entries, that allow us to get to the tables in the backend. And the way we do that, again, is on the external data tab right here. Again, click do what we've just been doing twice already. We'll click the access button, except this time, instead of importing tables, we're going to link to the data. We're going to link to the data source by creating a linked table. Click that bottom button. Again, we're going to browse. And here's where we need to point to the back end that we just created. And that's it right there. Open. Click OK. We're going to select the tables that we want to link to or make linked entries for. Those are the only two we have to choose from. Click OK. And we're done. Again, you can see now our icon over here is the table icon with an arrow next to it. If we hover, we get a path to the new split database that we just created. Again, we can double click and there's our data in the other table, in the other database. Same thing there. So there you have it. Two different ways of creating a split database arrangement. One using the splitter and the other started from scratch, building a back end by itself and making tables in it making a front end, putting forms, queries, and whatnot into it, and then using the external data tab and the important link button to make manually make links to the tables in your back end. And uh, by the way, anytime uh, you know, during development, let's say, you create more tables in that back end and more tables in that back end, you would just come to this and use the same procedure again, come to the same external data and important link button for access and do the same thing again and just choose those new tables and make new entries for yourself over here for the new tables. So that's it for this video. I'll have a link in the description below to my blog where I have other articles and videos. I'll also have a link to the previous video in this series where we describe in detail split databases, why we might want to do that, and how some of the deployments look. Hope you got something out of this and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.